haven't been able to finish part two because I'm not allowed access to your archives. Um, boy, I, I forgot the exact. I used to use it back in my, my early days, but um, it, the likelihood of going out of business, I believe it was somewhere around, it was over 80% if you're without your data for five straight days. Yeah, it's significant. It is, it's it's just uh, unfathomable to think of, but something as easy as I lost my data, and if that goes on for a couple days, you need to be worried about your, your business. Are you gonna be here next year? So just to bring it back full circle, you know, especially we start talking a little bit about, you know, assets and life cycle of <coughs> systems. Yep. We, we understand that from a security standpoint, there are multiple vulnerabilities vulnerabilities, the longer you keep devices, if they're end of life from the mm -hmm. manufacturer, we're coming up here on Windows 2012, end of yep. life, end of support. Um, but you can't protect something that you don't know about. So, yep. you know, integrating a lot of these tools that are currently in the market, tools that you guys provide as well, bringing all of those insights in a single platform are extremely important. We know yep. it's extremely important for us because if you don't have full visibility to things, how, you can, how can you act on it? Sure. If she's telling the truth, we need to act now. From, from a business owner standpoint, I want to be able to understand the technology from a very high level. I want to know what's going on. Basically, that's it. I don't want to know how you're doing it. I don't want to know the, the, the intricacies of, of uh, you know, how many tickets you've closed for me, the speed. and That's all good and well. I'm going to have my, my operations team you know, work with you on that. But I want to know where my vulnerabilities are and how I can address those vulnerabilities. And also the hardware it's, the, the itself. Um, there's no better day when, when you first get a brand new laptop, brand new, at least from a, a tech side of things. Yeah. You know, that day, it's everything's humming along. From a network standpoint, that day you put in that new awesome server, that network is running and it's fast and it's good and everybody's happy and, you know, new device, you're happy, you're working so much faster. And that's the, the key as, as business owners that I would think about is, is my technology, I'm, I'm prolonging the life of it, I'm protecting it, but at what point am I losing by, by the, the, the slowness of it, the speed at which people are, are using that tech compared to that day when they get that brand new laptop and things are, are humming along. There, there's a happy medium. And I, I'm not out here saying every business needs to replace their hardware and get on these big projects. That's good and well, that's awesome. And that will be done over time with, with the right providers. Um, but prolonging the life and knowing that point and saying, I'm actually losing money by keeping this old hardware around, and my, my team is slower at, at doing their job because of it, and an hour of downtime here, a half hour there, a few minutes, that adds up throughout the day. And there's nothing that I personally uh, disdain more of than, than it's when things are slow. Uh, oh. I had it yesterday. I had my internet go. It was I'm constantly checking my speeds at home. <laughs> I was down to five megs per second, and... Uh, and I was losing my mind, and I couldn't couldn't work on Zoom. Uh, my calls were dropping, and just yesterday alone, I spent a couple hours working with. I had to call my Spectrum, and said, "Send somebody out here. There's something wrong. I've done. I'm I'm in tech. I've done the troubleshooting, but that's time I can't get back." And that's where you're, oh. you're thinking of when it comes to hardware as as a business owner, saying, "Okay, how 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 much is too much? Like how at, at what point am I saying, yeah, we we need we need a better plan in here for the, the life cycle of, of the devices that we have. The ones that are finding the most success, the, the businesses that are that are humming along, those are the ones that have that standard plan. My team is gonna have you know critical users of the network. They're gonna have a, a refreshed uh, hardware asset every three years. We're gonna redo our, our servers every five years at most. Once we start getting at year six and seven, you start seeing it, the, the tech degrade from a standpoint of that. Um, but having that set plan, working with a provider, going, ha having it in motion. Next month, we're going to replace these devices. Uh, Q3 of next year, we're going to have a big rollout because you hired a bunch of people yeah. in Q3 three years ago. And having that mindset of, of that, that regular maintenance, that regular um, replacement of the, the devices and assets on the network. Wow. I mean, I totally agree with you. I mean, the use of the technology is far more valuable mm -hmm. than the technology itself, the productivity. Yeah. You mentioned another thing, just the waste. The waste of time yeah. is perishable. Oh, yeah. You never get that back. Never that get time that, back. that you spent yeah. yesterday. The time is gone. You don't even fucking realize it. So now I'm an organization. I've got all this legacy equipment. I've got 10-year-old servers. I've got seven-plus-year-old yep. desktops. People are... There's challenges every single day. There's constant problems. We yep. believe that everybody can influence the reduction of reactive problems within mm -hmm. an organization by aligning them with the correct technology. Alignment of technology, you mentioned just some from a life cycle perspective of, of the systems, 
if there's an organization that has no plan in place right now, they have no depreciation schedules, they've got yeah. nothing that they're following. How can they even? How do you get started with something like that? Um, understanding budget and sitting down and coming with a a, a a a mindset from that owner of saying, okay, well, technology is an investment. No, no way around it, and and it's not something you can just buy and be done with for a matter of a couple of years. You have to think of of that budget overall and and moving. If not yearly, uh, if not quarterly, yearly. But um, understanding um, also the business needs. Where's that business going? Are they growing? Or are they shrinking? Can we do more with less? Do we do we need to plan for you know new employees coming on next month? All of that it ties in with picking the right expert in there, mm-hmm. the right partner to to help you make those decisions. Um, at the very least, what what I'm seeing businesses do, and it's been it's been phenomenal for us. But uh, putting devices under protection, under under warranty, saying if something breaks, and this day ties back to the the supply chain uh, that, that you had mentioned um, back during the the middle of COVID, you couldn't even get a laptop in, in a matter of you know it took weeks, and a lot of that is is resolved now. But knowing that okay, if I'm going to prolong the life of this server another year, another two years, I want to know that the components of that server I can easily get at a moment's notice if it does fry, if there's something that, that goes wrong. And that's where we're seeing the biggest uptick of, of businesses saying, okay, let's let's make sure I have you, you're my you're my partner in this, you're gonna make sure the maintenance on it is all taken care of, we're, we're, we're um, all good there, but what about the components itself exactly. and making sure that, hey, if, you know, worst case scenario, we need a new motherboard, we need a new new piece in there, you know, what are we gonna do? Yeah, the core infrastructure, if it's unprotected, yeah. that's oftentimes, you mentioned, you're absolutely right, there's maintenance that may be done by a managed service provider, but they're not manufacturing those components right, for it. Right. That has to be under some type of support, mm-hmm. and you know, operating core infrastructure without manufacturer support of the hardware is a bad idea. And even even planning, you know, years out, planning the, the big project work. And I know still some of the, the components that are out there from a network standpoint, they're still on back order. So planning that out comes comes in, in into play with your, your budgeting and saying, okay, let's let's look at 2025. What am I going to have to do? What 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 project work that can we start planning for now and planning for the budget, but also planning for obtaining that hardware. It may be a few months where you know an emergency project that's that's uh, that's hard to come by for a lot of a lot of providers that are out there. Mm-hmm. The planning piece of it, though, um, I mean, we don't nobody wants fire drills and. Mm-hmm. Um, there are some business owners that believe like, okay, we're not going to do this now because they believe, I, I feel that they believe that they're actually saving money by not doing it. Eventually, it all comes, it, it's all going to come to them. I mean, yep. it's... Because everything that was meant to happen does, eventually. But if they can actually plan, you're yep. absolutely right. I mean, planning will save everybody a lot of heartache exactly. and problems because in the end it's not you won't be saving money if yep. you can plan and budget for your technology spend and road mapping it it's better for everyone exactly the same pennywise pound foolish i mean yeah. It, it's yeah you, we're we're asked to do a lot more with less all of us especially in today's you know economic climate and we're, we're prolonging the life of things and, and we get that and we want to save where we can especially from a small business owner standpoint they're they're constantly looking at, at their numbers seeing where they can save but but at some point it is going to come to a point where, yeah, that, that saving pennies here is costing you dollars over here. Mm-hmm. And, and it's up to finding that right provider to, to walk them through that. Mm-hmm.